guys, welcome back to Legendary. I'm especially excited about today's video because I got myself a local food guide. My good friend can be a bit shy, so his name will remain a secret for now, but we will refer to him as the chairman. He is Singaporean and I believe that you cannot get more local than him. He loves food more than anything and today he wants to introduce me to one of the local dishes called curry fish head, or as he likes to call it, curry fish face. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Today I'm gonna eat with my good friend, the chairman, here at this place. It's called Tai Shun Curry, Tai Shun Fish Curry Head. And we are gonna enjoy a good breakfast and uh, hope you enjoy the video. So this place is a simple store located in Jurong East, about 10 minutes walk from the MRT station, Chinese Garden. I did not have to worry at all about what to eat here as the chairman took care of ordering the curry fish head and some nice side dishes that go well with it. The total price of the whole meal was about 53 Singapore dollars which was more than enough to fill the tummies of two hungry guys in the morning. Definitely worth trying whenever you have the chance to come to Jurong East. Highly recommend it. One thing for sure, the, the Chinese curry is not as spicy as the Indian one. Okay, so there are two types of curry fish head in Singapore, right? I think there's, uh, there's more than two. I think there's three. Uh, the Malay, the Malay, Indian, Indian, and the Chinese. They all have different styles. A slightly different taste. We're having fish head curry in the morning. Yeah, and salted vegetable. Okay, what, what is this? Uh, preserved vegetable. Preserved vegetables, yeah. This one, poor man's food. This one, poor man's food. This one is a typical Teochew food. What is this steamed fish? It doesn't... It's, it's a rabbit fish. A rabbit fish? Yeah. It's called rabbit fish? Yeah, try. Thank you. They do this, uh, this caramansi sauce. Wait, what is this sauce? Caramansi with bean paste and chili. Yeah, try it. I try it, it's really good. This is stinky, you know? So basically, this caramansi helps to remove the fishiness. Uh. Mm -hmm. The small fish yeah. is a bit fishy, but I mean, with the lemon sauce, I think it yeah. removes a bit. Uh. Yeah, but this is this is a poor man's fish also. But during Chinese New Year, it's very expensive. I, I don't understand why. Wait, this fish becomes more expensive during Chinese fresh. New Year? During the Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is coming up soon, huh? Yeah, yeah. Usually, people order this, right, to consume the roll. They have roll in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have roll. Oh, then we have to... No, no, it's not in season, so you all go okay. at the stomach at all time. It's very bitter. The important thing, if you notice, uh, when you get at, until you at about uh, 11 ish, late 10 o'clock, all the big cars will arrive. All the big, the big out, cars. The big cars. The big bosses. Wait, the rich out. people come here to eat? Yes. Can I give you a little bit of bitter goat egg? I'm not a big fan of egg. Of egg? Yeah. Oh, you like bitter goat? I like bitter goat without the egg. But for you, I'll just order this. Uh. Thank you. Yeah. This is very, um, very bitter. No, it's not the bitter god. What is this sandy, sandy kind of taste? I think it's uh, salted egg yolk. Ah? Yeah. I think they mix it with salted egg yolk. I'm not a big fan of this. You told me we are coming here now to try this mm, mm, mm. curry fish head, mm. right? Let's try it. But this zai shun, what? How is it pronounced? Zai shun, zai shun, zai, zai shun. I, I googled it earlier. Yeah. It's pretty uh, famous, huh? Actually. Famous for rich people. For rich people? Yeah. How much is this? It's not going to be very expensive because we are ordering the man dish. Huh? If you order the expensive one, like the uh, steamed shahe, uh, steamed garupa fish, it'll be pricier. But definitely not as expensive as a restaurant. Uh, you should try the curry. The curry is a little bit unique. I saw this. Taishun Fish Head Curry is yeah. one of the top, always on each blog or website that I saw. Yeah. Like best Fish Head Curry in Singapore. Always top three, top four or something. Mm. Mm. So here in Jurong East, it's one of the best Fish Head Curry. Yeah? It was recommended by somebody. Yeah? From a friend. Yeah, even my father living in Sambawang knows this place. Uh. So yeah. locals know this place? Yeah. Rich local. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you think uh, people from the living in the east of Singapore, they will come here to Jurong East to this? Yes. yes in their Mercedes. <laughs> you want curry? No, no, no. no, no. Don't, don't, thin, don't thin my gravy. The whole idea of eating curry fish head is to consume the curry. Yeah? The okay. curry yeah, the curry is the show. Uh. I don't want to thin it with the, the lots up. What is this actually? Uh, this black sauce. Braised pork gravy. Braised pork gravy. How 
do you eat this? Or what do you eat this with? It's just gravy, yeah, to make your, your rice a little bit more moist, more flavorful. Do you like this fish? You try it just now. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. I like this. But I like this for lunch or for dinner. For breakfast, unusual. For breakfast, I like the, my steamed fish. Oh. One thing for sure, I know this okra is a little bit more tender compared to the one that we have in what, Little yeah, India. How's the okra? Good, good. Nice and tender. But, but even if the vegetables are not nicely done, uh, that's not important. Uh, because the show is a gravy. Uh. The curry is yeah, style show. Sure. Yeah, correct, correct. This is what I call local food. This is real local food, yeah. Coke Zero. Oh, this is Coke? This is Coca-Cola? Always have a Coke. I normally drink from the can. I don't consume it from the can. It's dirty? It's very dirty. Just imagine, right, the warehouse, right, yeah. is dirty. And the warehouse, right, there's a dead rat. And the dead rat got so dead, it become dry and become powdery. The powdery remainings of the dead rat rest on the can. And you consume it, you got your dead. So you should not drink from the should can? Should never. I would like you to describe the style of the show. One thing for sure, right, this store, right, the fish is always fresh. Oh. Yeah, it's fresh. I was about to say, yeah. the, the fish, fish tastes really fresh. It's fresh. If you go to some restaurant, right, they will buy tons and tons of curry fish head yeah. or fish face. They put it in the, in the chiller or freezer and they freeze it. Some of the fish head could be around for at least one year. This one is really fresh, it's right? It's fresh, fresh. How come? Because he replenishes his stock every day. Oh, wow. If you go to the bank, right, you see all the white boxes. Huh? Are there uh, white box? The. Huh? See how it's here? Bobao. 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 My translation to you is basically the lady is telling you that this fish is good. I'm telling her that it's good, but it's not optimal. For the reason it's not Chinese New Year yet. Oh, not expensive enough. <laughs> yeah. hey, during Chinese New Year, people consume this fish. Huh? A lot. Just, just for the, the egg. Oh, there you can, at that time you can eat the egg because it's a seasonal. It's, it's, it's fat. Yeah. Okay. It's, but, but you just mentioned the white boxes over there. So, daily, oh. he replenishes the fish. Yeah, he buys in boxes. I think in front you see these boxes. Yeah. I think inside is all the fishes. For example, you can get all this exotic fish. Uh, like Wang Pu Liao. Uh. What is that? Uh, Wang Pu Liao. Wang Pu Liao? Yeah, unforgotten. Wang Pu Liao? Uh. Yeah. The bitter god is overdone. Uh. People don't come here for the bitter god, right? Yeah, but the bitter god is a big popular one. Uh. Are there always so many people coming here? Oh, it's considered little. This it's is little already. Right? Yeah, it's too early. Food is like this for breakfast. It's already 10.30, so... It's brunch, but, <laughs> but the real crowd come at 11 o'clock. Have you tried this? The fish cake? Not the so fish cake? Well. Yeah, try this. You always must sniff it. This is not fishy. This is the fragrance of the fish. This still... This smell of the fish. Smells this, of fish. Yeah, this is not fishy smell. Uh. Not fishy, but it smells of fish. Yeah, it's a huge it's, difference, right? Yeah. It's, it's thin line. It's a little bit like... Like <laughs> boy, girl, lady boy. <laughs> It tastes like a fish ball. Better than fish ball. Really? Singapore fish ball shit. It's all 99.99% all flour, 0.5% of food flavoring, 0.5% uh, of fish. You have also tried many other fish head curry places in Singapore, right? What makes it special? Hey, let me tell you. To me, number one, it's not heavy. It's not heavy? Yeah, it's not thick. I don't like curry that's too thick. So yeah. you mean the... It's a little bit watered down, a watery. Yeah. Yeah. This one? Yeah, this one. And it has a good blend of this acidic. Yeah, it has like sour... Tangy. Ish, sour ta sour -ish taste. Yeah. Tang right. Tangy, tangy? Tangy. Tangy, tangy, yeah. tangy taste. Yeah. But I like it. Of course, but uh, for sure, it's not vinegar, bro. Uh, just to let you know, right? How, how do they make it? I think they use a fruit. They call it the... Uh, lemon. You know, no lemon. It's called the asam tea. It's basically a fruit uh, that is acidic, so you must wash the fruit. Is it to extract the water? Asam laksa? Or 
asam. Yeah, I think uh, the asam laksa they use the same thing. I think so. Uh. The, the the sour acidity, mm. tangy taste. Uh. Mm. Nice. I like the sourness of this. Uh, not cherry. spicy. It's not very spicy. Not very spicy. But it, it is a little bit, a little bit, but not very. I remember the Indian curry that we had was pretty spicy, right? The meat of the fish. It's tender. It's tender. It's, it's not fresh. chalky. The it's chalky. Chalky means like dry and dry. Uh, it's like chewing like on chalk. But this one is really nice. Wow. You don't take the stomach. The stomach is not for Amor. Amor. Hey, what do you mean I'm Amor? You know shit lah. Amor only filet only. Yeah. I don't I don't get yourself choked lah. You got choked, you are dead, right? Oh, the bones. Eh? Yeah. Because you are the, the last, they call it the last Mohicans ah. The last Amor friend I have ah. <laughs> the last Mohican. Hey. Cheers. Coat is for the morning, for the afternoon, for dinner, for supper. Before you sleep, when you have a cold, when you have a flu. So cook anytime? That's why it's called cook anywhere. Oh, cook anywhere. And the best part is always the eyeball. <laughs> Wait, you, you eat the eyeball? Yeah, I always consume the eyeball. So that's ice soccer. Fish, fish. It's a fish. Memo don't have uh, this thing inside, yeah? Memo. Only fish have it. I think so. <laughs> the most tender part of the fish is here. It's just is this the cheek? It's, it's below the eye socket. That's the most tender part. Yes. It's yes. the cheek. No, <laughs> the cheek is here. It's below eye socket here. Oh, yeah. good. Hey, it's even softer. Soft, tender. Yeah. That's why Asian. That's why Asian like to eat uh, fish. Hey, because the best part is on here. But I don't want to eat the fish eye. Yeah, it's okay. But you can. I like. I like. So that's why we are two. Yeah. So we demolish the fish properly. Yeah, I eat the jaw. Because I like the gelatin. What I want you to show me is yeah. which condiment, which chili sauce and so, which do you use for what? Okay, my, my understanding uh, is, uh, this is called, this is karmansi chili, and this is basic uh, peanuts. There's no peanut here. I think it's the fermented beans. Fermented uh, beans. And this is the, the juice that's coming up from fermented beans. This is usually used to dip on, uh, as long as the fish is just basically steam uh, without flavor. This one, not my cup of tea. So the bitter gourd egg is not your favorite? No, no. I, I, I thought you liked it, uh, so I ordered for you. But honestly speaking, uh, from your taste bud, right? Do you like it or you do not like it? I think most probably not, right? I like it. When I came here earlier on the MRT to yeah. Jurong East, wait, to Chinese Garden MRT, I thought fish head curry sounds very heavy, very thick curry. No, no. And very too much for like breakfast because it's only like 10.30 a.m. Right? But technically, yes, I agree with you. Uh. Yes, but when I eat this, as you said, the, the curry is like, it's viscosity, yes. uh, it's more liquidy, not so thick and heavy. And, I and, and the sourness of this uh, curry gives you like a more of a refreshing kind of taste. It's quite light, I would say. It's a light curry. Agreed. Full, full body, like kind of deep flavor, but light. It will not make me feel so bloated. Bloated, too heavy. With the freshness of the fish, I think it's a great breakfast for me. I love it. Actually, I love egg. I also like bitter gourd, but this bitter gourd egg has like a salted egg kind of taste, like a sandy um, kind of taste to it as well. Yeah, that's that's the byproduct of a salted egg yolk. Yeah. So yeah. that's not my favorite for for this. I like it with like deep fried dishes, but. Maybe other people love this kind of fish. Yeah? The smaller fish, I would say, is a bit fishy for me. What I really like is the fish cake. It tastes for me like fish ball. 
he says a bit tastier than fish balls. And the pickled vegetable. Gam Thai. Yeah. Gam Thai. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. Hey, you want to eat the fish fish, fish scum, skin? Huh? The what? And the jelly. No. What is this? This fish skin? Yeah. Okay, he, he loves like the. You don't like it? Eh? Part of the fish that he likes is taste, jelly, um, fish ball, fish skin, and the bones of the fish. <laughs> yeah, but I need just to keep it simple. Anything that you don't like, I like. Yeah, it's good, huh? Yeah, it's good. But you like the meat, of course, as well. Not so much. This is. I will always go eat fish with you. Yeah. Yeah, small fish, I have no choice, uh, because there's no... There's nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else. It's pretty healthy, uh, this fish. With the fish. It's not healthy to have curry in the morning. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, I, I think I oh, oh, see all the rich taoke coming in. Here. The rich taoke? Taoke. What's taoke? Taoke in Teichu is called boss. Oh, the rich boss. Uh, if you want to come here, you can eat the other steamed fish, uh, but with the Hong Kong style. The Hong Kong style. Oh. Hong Kong style. Yeah. You've tried it here before. Yeah. Is it nice? Good. The best part is here. Oh, this is the stomach. Uh. No, the, the, the stomach is always bitter. My girlfriend also don't like the stomach. As long as you don't consume the membrane of the stomach, you're safe. Uh. So, honestly speaking, right, this is very modern Teochew food. Modern? Teichu. Modern. The real, the real authentic Teochew food in, Sing in Singapore context, right, they don't have curry fish. Eh. Wait, like the old school? Right? The, the old school one. The old school. They don't have curry fish. Eh. They don't have this uh, egg with bitter gourd. They just have like salted vegetable, braised pig, nut, uh, pig trotto, simpler, simple fish cake, very very simple to, uh, braised tofu. They will have a basket of fish. They have basket, of fish. Yeah, basket of different steamed fish. But it's just basically steam, no sauce, and you have to dip on this simple bean sauce. Uh. The old school one is very very hard to find. Oh. Yeah, it's run by all these uncles right there. It's now dead. Uh. The children don't want to take over the business. You should try the okra. Okay, okra or otherwise called ladyfinger. Yeah. Is normally not my favorite veg, but I will taste it again here. Hey, actually, ladyfinger is a veg or a fruit? I think it's a veggie. Yeah. Hey, this is very good for health, you know, okra. Okra is good for health? Very good. Wow, I'm so healthy today. Yeah. But you must eat huge, huh? like one kilo of okra. So for it to be healthy, I have to eat one kilogram of okra. Yeah, true. Only then it works. Yes. Hey, you should try this. It's called double whammy. <laughs> the okra is fine, but I really am not a big fan of the texture, yeah. I must say. So bro, will you come here again? Uh? I think if uh, my friends from Germany or so, they come and they say, oh, show me something uh, local in Singapore, some local dish, I think they will not like it. Uh, I think foreigners was bring them eat. Sake, uh, chili crab. Pepper crab looks spicy for them, no. Chicken rice, yeah. but not the white one, but the roasted, the roasted one. And after that, if they want to go more local, maybe we can go into like fish and curry, uh, kway chap, we can go. Okay. Right? So definitely, yeah, I would bring my friends here. I hope you enjoyed the video today with my local friend, the chairman, because his identity will remain secret. I would say uh, see you next time. Bye.